before the video starts, it gets to 600 subs, and I'll open up a Discord. More about that in the future. And I can't be a pedophile, because I'm attracted to women. Um... everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Brandon Brutal. Brandon Brutal is a 34 year old man from Charlotte NC. You probably remember him and you probably don't, but if you don't, let me give you a brief breakdown. Brandon made a video stating that he wasn't going to be here anymore and people started spreading rumors that he has passed away and died. It got so bad to the point they started messaging his loved ones. But everything stopped when people realized that Brandon was alive after Brandon posted this video. Hello everyone, so uh, I guess there's still some confusion, I guess, on if I'm dead or not. Um, I definitely am not. Um, I actually recovered. Somehow. But yeah. So I am alive. This is my, um, me recording this in the moment. So yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm alive. I'm making more videos and everything, so... To settle the whole thing... I'm alive and still here. So, um... And s still keeping up the emo scene and stuff and everything. You know. Yeah. So, I'm still alive. I'm here. And this is my TikTok. After Brandon posted that TikTok on his page, people realized he's alive and well, and everything went back to normal for Brandon. And Brandon went back to posting TikTok videos on his page until recently, where allegations have been spread of Brandon being a pedophile. So an account on TikTok by the name of BB Brutal Pedo dedicated and took the time to expose Brandon for being a pedophile. I'm gonna go ahead and show you photos of how this all started. So the person hits up Brandon saying hi. Brandon replies with hi. What's up? Not much. Eating some Skittles. What about you? I'm about to eat my gummy worms XD. Oh, I love gummy worms. Especially the sour ones. That's what I'm eating. The sour ones XD. That's the bestest. Hehe. <laughs> yup, XD. What are you doing besides eating gummies? Petting my dog. Before I continue the conversation, I'm gonna be blurring out all photos of the girl because the person that caught Brandon used a photo of this girl who's a minor. I'm gonna skip some of the messages due to it just being a normal conversation and go to the part where everything takes a dark, disturbing turn. So after having a conversation for a while, Brandon realized the person he is talking to is a minor and is choosing the right path of blocking the minor. But this all goes instantly downhill, still talking with the minor, even calling her a cute emo chick. And the conversation from here starts to get worse and worse. Brandon goes on to ask for pictures, which is that's what the girl sends him, but those weren't exactly the pictures Brandon wanted. Instead, he wanted naughty pictures. And when the girl doesn't feel like sending the pictures, Brandon kind of tries to guilt trip her, and then Brandon claims that he is not a pedophile when he literally just asked a minor for nude photos. But the girl sends the photo regardless. But after all the disturbing messages, the person decides to give up their cover. Well, guess what? I'm not real, and I have these messages to use against you. Hopefully getting off to what you thought was a minor was worth you it. sick creep. I got that off a of corn site. Brandon seen the message, but never responded. So after Brandon got caught being a pedophile, just like the others, he has made a response. There are some things that he clearly lied about in the response, but I'll get back to that after the video is done. Hello everybody, so there's this thing going around to where I was so-called talking to a 14 year old. Okay, first of all, the girl started messaging me first. I messaged her, I did not know her age. And then she started messaging me other stuff. And then I was like, okay, I checked her age and I told her to stop talking to me. I said, I can't talk to you, you're a minor. And so she kept talking to me. She just kept talking to me. And so, and she sent some photos I didn't ask for at all. She just sent them instantly. And then I was like, no, I can't do this. And I was at church at the moment. 
when she sent those photos. That's bad. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. And also, so any of the uh, me talking to her, there's some other stuff that um, I that seems like I said, but I didn't, because there's Photoshop. What I want everybody, what I want everybody to know is I don't trust recordings. I don't trust videos. I don't trust screenshots, because anyone can fake a screenshot of something that's not real. And they can fake a recording. They can fake messages and everything because, you know, technology is like, it's really advanced these days. And so they're able to do anything like that. That's why I don't trust recordings or screenshots because anybody could just be making it up and just using the technology they have in their hand. But then again, um, no, I didn't call her cute. There's one message in there where where it seems like I said she's cute, but no. Um, and there's the other one where I so-called asked for news, but not really because um, she just sent them to me. And so I blocked her. She is blocked right now. And I'm not talking to her because I already said, no, I don't talk to minors, so. She's gone. But then again, she goes and does all this. That makes me think, that makes it look like I messaged her things I never messaged her. So it basically was, it basically was a trap. They trapped me into talking to her and then they changed the messages that I, that I said into what I didn't say. So it basically was some sort of what, whatever. But then again, um, yeah, so I'm pedo free. So I'm, I'm all good. I'm not, I don't do pedo stuff because I like women. So the first thing I'm gonna say is, yes, Brandon, she did message you first. And yes, she did keep on talking to you after you knew her age. But didn't you say you were going to block her? You could have blocked her and the conversation could have been over. But no, you never did that, Brandon. Brandon, you claim you didn't ask for the photos, but here's proof that you did. I doubt these are photoshopped and fake. So I'm going to show you another clip of Brandon saying that he isn't a pedophile because apparently he likes hot women, if that makes any apparent sense, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. And I can't be a pedophile because I'm attracted to women. Um, okay, I, 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 last night I, uh, off to a woman with big boobs, right? Not kid. So Brandon claims that if you stroke your chicken to a hot, attractive woman, you're not a pedophile. That makes no damn sense whatsoever. And Brandon makes the situation worse by trying to make up a whole new story by saying somebody made a copycat account of him. Then somebody comments saying, but you actually admitted to messaging her, which is he does admit it when he replies to this person. But Brandon, I thought it was a copycat account. Which story is it, Brandon? It's a copycat account, or you did message her. But sadly, this is all the information that we have so far. If more information does come out about Brandon being a pedophile, I'll try to get back to it. But that's it for today's video.